Hello Spider Gang and Spider fans everywhere. Satchmo, awful glad to be back as host for the third annual Spider Gang commemorative video. We were ready for Rocco. The video is compiled from clips and photos from the Spider Gang adventures and commemorates the amazing 2012 Richmond Spiders football season. So get a comfortable seat and a delicious snack and settle in for the interesting and entertaining evolution of the Spider Gang from doubters and cynics in the spring to confident and grateful fans by Thanksgiving. Here's to the 2012 CAA Championship. We were ready for Rocco. You think John Love wanted to score this touchdown? Mrs. Diplomat, how many CAA games you believe will win? One. Cooper, you've already won the Common Sense Award uh, for spring practice. Uh, how many games, CAA games, you think we're going to win I this year? I think we'll win two, Tom. Yeah! Oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> this is Spirit. How many CAA games you think we're going to win? I love my Richmond Spiders. I'm going to have to go four games. There's a sheriff with a badge on. Uh, how many CA games do you think? Uh, how many CA games do we play? Eight. How many? Uh, I'll say five. Yeah! 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 This is Springer, as a rookie last year, you were near the top of the uh, picks. Mrs. Springer, how many? You can pick uh, the same number as somebody else Three. picked. <laughs> Chief, you haven't done worth a damn in this contest for three years. Uh, what do you what do you think? Well, that sounds like a challenge. Uh, how, how, how about seven? Put some heat on him, put some heat on him! Grandpa Electric, he just said seven. I know. He just he said seven. It was the barley one. That really, it. Lower, one that really it. lowers my <laughs> estimate. I'll say two. Is it over or not over? Twice, defense! You gotta win it twice! But we got a lot to overcome up there. <laughs> last year. But, but, I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say we're going to win four CAA games. Okay, Mrs. Spider, how many games do you think the Spiders will win the CAA this year? I am so confident in this Spider team that I think they're going to go for four. This wasn't real pretty, but it was a Spider touchdown. Ball still wants to protect his anonymity uh, here. What's that? Four? Four. Is this, is, is this the Marine kind of lift up here? Kind of this? Yeah. Oh, you have that. passed the Mike something? Shanahan oh, physical fitness so test. <laughs> Scooper is not in mid-season yeah, form on the... Uh... <laughs> hey! We want, we want to welcome an honorary Spider Gang member. And uh, Grandpa or Grandma, I'm going to leave name? the name up to you. <laughs> Hello, Spider fans everywhere. And college football fans in Central Virginia across America and around the world. 
Satchmo, glad to be back to kick off the 2012 Richmond Spiders football season. If you're like Satchmo and the Spider Gang, you'll be awful glad to get the new season started to wipe away those memories of last year's uh, disappointing outcome. And I'm not expecting miracles uh, for this year's uh, Spider football team, but I am hoping that we'll put a team on the field that'll get progressively better and gel as the season goes on. I'm looking for progress towards uh, competitiveness and positioning ourselves uh, for a playoff spot somewhere along the road in the future. But miracles uh, can happen in FCS football. All you gotta do is look up the road at Towson. One win in the 2010 season nine wins in a CAA championship uh, last year. So it can happen. This will be our annual BCS game against the Cavaliers. Undoubtedly the toughest opponent on our schedule this year. In a year that we could probably use Duke, we end up uh, with the Cavaliers. Now Satchmo looked back and our all-time records against opponents, and I think that is probably our worst winning percentage against any team that we've played over 20 times. And I'm not exactly a, a spring chicken, but even I can't remember that 1946 win over the Cavaliers. And if any of you can, you've got better memories uh, than me. So it looks like everything is uh, stacked against us as we go to Charlottesville to open the season. But you know what, Spider fans? I'm sure Coach Rocco is going to proudly take our team into Scott uh, Stadium on September the 1st. I'm sure he'll have our guys as ready to play against the Cavaliers as we can be. Glad to be back. 2012 Spider Prologue, Game 1, University of Virginia Cavaliers. And I don't know about you guys, but it's worth driving to Charlottesville to see some real college football. Now I could sit here for the next few minutes and go on and on about why Virginia is a prohibitive favorite in this game on Saturday, but I think you already uh, know that. So I was looking around for some other things uh, with long odds, like the Spiders' odds of an upset Saturday. And here are a couple. You know that the odds of being struck by lightning in a calendar year are only one in 700,000. And if you play uh, the Powerball, you probably know that your odds of winning the grand prize are one in 175 million. So that makes the odds against the Spiders uh, look a little bit better. And you know what, Spider fans? We'll have more fans rooting for the Spiders Saturday than any other time this year. You know that the entire Hokie Nation is rooting for the Spiders, as well as all of our CAA uh, friends, and hundreds of thousands and millions of college football fans across the country love it when FCS teams upset notable BCS teams in the first two or three weeks of the season. Go Spiders! Shock the college world! So long for now! It is finally time for some Spider football and the Spider gang is on its way to Charlottesville. So, uh, right now. You, Tell him we're turning on Ridge Street. We're, we're turning on Ridge Street right now, so uh, just be on the lookout for us. Uh. And thanks to the Brave, son of the Chief, for hosting the party. You got a good report, Scoober. I got a good report. I got a good report. Virginia deferred and the Spiders received, and we saw this a few times early. The Cavs scored on their first possession. The passing game started to click a little bit, too. 
When our tight ends got involved, good things happened. Despite the loss, it was a fun day for the Spider Gang in Seaville. I can't wait until next week to see the Spiders in the Brick House. We're going to like it. Looking at the uh, schedule preseason, I'm going to go out on a limb that's uh, not too short and predict that this is the most likely win, Game 2, against the Gardner Webb Bulldogs. And you know what, Spider fans? The Brick House is sold out. Obviously, lots of you saw things that you found encouraging in Charlottesville last weekend, just like the Spider Game. When I go to the Brick House uh, tomorrow, what I'm going to be looking for is more of the same. Build on that foundation that we saw growing in Charlottesville. Yeah, the weather's... Uh been a question mark here about this game. It's about 4.30 before uh, 6 o'clock kickoff and uh, we're hearing a little rumbling out of that cloud up there. Mrs. Diplomat has failed to get us a uh, weather radar <laughs> thing up. This group is very technologically uh, challenged. challenged. The chief has just used his native intelligence uh, to tell us that we're in the split. There you go. He can feel it in his bones. The meteorologist. Boy, this cool Gosh, air feels, feels good, doesn't it, uh, yes, Spider it Gang? The temperature has dropped about 20 degrees in the last five minutes. Chief, what are your bones feeling, pal? Uh, should we uh, make the walk to the stadium? Uh, we can just give me a few more sips. I think we can head on up there. I think How are you guys doing during this uh, storm we're, delay? We're very suffocating a little, <laughs> but it's up in here. Sorry, I don't have a red <laughs> After an hour and a half delay because of the storms and rain, it was time for some spider football. After a defensive stop, the spiders were back on the move. With this pass to Ben Edwards. Jovan Smith gained 54 of his 94 yards on this carry. This kick return gave the Spiders great field position again. Wet and cold and tired. It was great to walk down the hill with a one-game winning streak. Now, the Spiders go to Lexington for game three on September the 15th at 1.30 p.m. If you've never been to a game in Lexington, it's a beautiful place uh, to watch a football game, and I hope there'll be lots of uh, Spider fans uh, there to root for our team in a big road game. This looks like it should be a win for the Spiders. But sometimes in college football, the intangibles come into play. And usually uh, VMI has the intangibles on their side. I hope we go to Lexington with a chip on our shoulder. I know we need to learn how to win on the road in order to build that foundation for wins further into the harder part of the schedule. We know the Spiders will probably be prohibitive favorites. We've probably got uh, more speed, more talent than the key debts. Coach Rocco's familiar with them. He's played them six times as head coach at Liberty, and he's never lost. But you know what, Spider fans? We'll be going into a pretty hostile environment. The core will be there. It's a reunion weekend, and we're the only legacy rival from the state of Virginia that VMI is playing uh, this year. We have to demonstrate that we can go on the road and win. And VMI should be a good test to see if we're ready to start that uh, winning streak. The pageantry of the historic Virginia Military Institute. 
The cadet corps was loud and boisterous before the game. The short passing game clicked all day long. The beginning of a Ben Edwards highlight film. Not exactly a stealth bomber, but the helicopter was kind of cool. Tough rushing yards for the spot is where the goal line. win for the Spiders as we finish pre-conference action. Now, on to the CAA. Today I'd like to welcome the Georgia State Panthers to the countdown for the first time in what's probably the last time ever. Now, Spider fans, I don't know how much you know about the Sun Belt Conference, but about the only thing I know about it is VCU used to play basketball in it a long time ago when I was uh, much younger. But I think it's going to be a test uh, for the Spiders to go on the road and beat Georgia State on their home field in their first CAA game uh, ever. So if the Spiders uh, come out of the Georgia Dome with a big win over Georgia State, I think uh, Spider fans uh, should feel much better about how the season is going uh, to develop. It was great to hear Coach Rocco comment uh, this week at how much the Spiders improved Saturday in Lexington. Now, if the Spiders take what they've done well so far in this season to Atlanta and continue to build on it, we should be able to get a victory and take that huge third step of the season. This team has already taken two steps, winning games again and winning on the road. The third big step would be huge for us to begin the season with a CAA win. In what seems like a continuing theme for this season, this in all probability is the first and last time the Monarchs will ever play at the Brick House. And Wilder's motivational theme for the Monarchs this year is this is their one shot for the national championship. Now, Spider fans, the ODU will probably be our biggest FCS test of the season. It'll be a giant upset if we can take down the Monarchs on September the 29th. We would make some headlines. We need some good headlines. And besides that, it'll be family day at the Brick House. Nobody wants to look bad in front of their family. This week, the Old Dominion Monarchs, who are arguably the best known and the hottest team in the FCS division at this time on the heels of their amazing 64-61 win over New Hampshire. Now the Spiders took care of business last weekend in Atlanta and earned the right to play in what many would call an important early season CAA matchup. And the Spiders have been taking steps every week. Last weekend putting to bed the conference losing streak, but you know what? It obviously isn't going to be any easier Saturday to take that next big step, proving we can compete and play with an elite CAA team, Old Dominion. Now again for the Spiders, the question is, have we come far enough that we can compete and even upset a team like Old Dominion? I think if we can get off to a good start and don't get swept off our feet by the speed and athleticism of the Monarchs at the beginning of the game that we can compete because it's a, an intangible of wanting to prove yourself and prove that the 2011 season was an anomaly. 
That's all for ODU. Let's have the nation talking about spiders. Go spiders! So long for now. Anything he took it said he was a spider fan. Got it in what? Anything for him? <laughs> You're a spider fan, aren't you? I am. All right, All right. go spiders. Go spiders. Let's shock the world, right? Yeah, have it going. As usual, the Spider Gang ladies put together quite a feast for everyone. There was good mojo in parking lot B6 as Spider fans anticipated taking on the Mighty Monarchs. John Love to Ben Edwards evens the game up at 7-7. Spiders got back in the game on the short touchdown pass. With six minutes remaining in the game, the Monarchs got the ball back and were able to run out the clock as the Spider defense could not stop Heineke and company again. The Monarchs got a hard fought 45-37 victory. six CAA wins that would make us very competitive would certainly be within our reach. This week, a key CAA game for the Spiders against the Villanova Wildcats in Philadelphia. I know uh, most of you were just as disappointed as I was that the Spiders weren't quite able to catch up with the Monarchs on Saturday afternoon, but I think the team took another step forward despite the loss. Coach Rocco even said something like this during the week, that he sensed a healthy frustration from his staff and from the team that they weren't quite able to finish the job. But they now know that they can compete and defeat elite teams in the CAA. Now for Villanova, they'll be the best FCS defense the Spiders have faced all season. They will also be the best FCS rushing attack the Spiders have faced all season. And the toughest FCS road team the Spiders have faced. So it's going to be tough in Philadelphia on Saturday. But you know what, Spider fans? The Wildcats have not faced an FCS opponent as tough as the Spiders. So there you have it, fans. Two teams that really want to get back into playoff uh, contention. Two veteran coaches that really know what they're doing. If both teams show up in Philadelphia with their best, it's going to be a war. Great college football entertainment. Now, Spider fans, uh, New Hampshire seems to me like a team that we never win against. If you look back at the all-time series, it's 10-10. But the Wildcats have beaten us three out of the last four games and four out of the last six. And it's likely that the Wildcats will be a heavy favorite in this game. I don't doubt that a bit. I don't doubt that our Spiders will be getting better by this time of the season, but it would be quite an upset for us to get a breakthrough win against the Wildcats on the road this early in the season. This week, the powerful New Hampshire Wildcats in Game 7, a key CAA matchup. Now, Spider fans, I hope you felt as good all week long as old Satchmo did after that great win at Villanova. But before we talk about the Wildcats, I want to give a big thank you to Jovan Smith, not only for the great efforts you gave on the football field, but for your hard work and determination to compete 
again for the Spiders. Now the game against New Hampshire uh, Saturday is in Durham, and that's been a bad place for the Spiders. We have not won a game in Durham since the year 2000. But you know what, Spider fans? The last time we won in Philadelphia was in the year 2000 also. Now Wildcats coach McDonald apparently knows what's coming to town. In his teleconference, he mentioned that he would find out what his Wildcats were made of when they stepped up in class against the Spiders. He was asked what a team learns or how a team reacts from playing five games on the road, and I loved what he said. He said, you develop a chip on your shoulder in a way to overcome demons. Now, I've seen those demons in Durham, New Hampshire myself back in 2010, and all it usually takes to overcome those demons is a great offensive effort and a great defensive effort. Great Villanova victory really caused some chaos in the Spider Gang predictions contest. Many of the contestants are still dubious about the Spiders. Shame on them. Now once again, colorful coach Matthews has had to lead his team through these distractions. And I didn't think it was possible for him to put any more twang in his voice or exhibit any more confidence until I saw the CAA Media Day. Now, Coach Matthews has never been bashful about praising his players, but this time he said that the quarterback was one of the best in the country and the best that had ever played for him at JMU. Spider fans, I hope this game will be the breakthrough game for our Spider team. I'm not sure what's going to happen in our first seven games, but I'm hoping that by this game against a big name opponent in a big rivalry game that all of us would love to win, that this is when our Spiders are going to send a message to the rest of the CAA that we are back and ready to compete. This week, the mighty James Madison Dukes, ranked number two in FCS and at 3-0, leading the CAA, come to the Brick House for Spiders game number eight. I'd like to say a couple words about the game in New Hampshire. Our guys uh, came oh so close to getting that breakthrough win against a CAA top tier opponent. We just couldn't quite uh, close it out. Led by uh, John Law. I'd like to give John a big thank you for such an outstanding uh, football season that he had going for the Spiders. And we're certainly gonna miss him, but I'd like to congratulate him and thank him for hanging in there for five years to finally get that shot and he certainly made the most of it. Now to the Dukes, the team uh, most Spider fans would like to beat the most. The Dukes are coming in with quite a bit of momentum, but you know what, Spider fans? They've gotten pretty good at dodging bullets, and I've thought all along that this was probably the game where we'd get that breakthrough win. Now it's gonna be a little bit tougher than we thought with a new, less experienced quarterback, but I know our offensive line is ready, and they'll have to be to move the ball against uh, this defense. I know Coach Matthews is expecting a difficult uh, atmosphere. He even commented on it in his uh, weekly news conference that we threw rocks at him before. I don't think anybody in a sweater vest has ever thrown a rock at the bus, but what do I know? I think it's time for a Spider uh, breakthrough. This is the last step, Spiders. Let's go for it. We need that momentum for our closing uh, three games. Spider Gang fans, uh, we have two ladies leading the Spider Gang predictions contest after uh, seven weeks. 
Never before have we had ladies uh, with a serious chance to win this deep into the season. Mrs. Spirit, Mrs. Diplomat, what have you got to say about it? Women rule, yes, right, Women Kathy. rule this season. We can only hope that we're going to keep going on our winning streak. That's right. But well, we who do. did you pick today? Well, see, now, i got to admit I didn't pick the right team today, but I surely hope I'm wrong because we definitely want the Spiders I would, to win. I would rather lose this contest if the Spiders can win Exactly, today. I agree. Go That's the spirit. I'm willing to go to the I bottom. will lose for the Spiders right. because they need to win. That's the spirit. Right. Go, go Spiders. spiders. <laughs> we have a birthday today, Mrs. Spotter. <laughs> Happy to birthday! <laughs> and look at that cake, Mr. Charlie, Charlie's been baking all morning. Today we're going to talk about the Rhode Island Rams, who I believe will be the Spiders' most likely CAA win in the 2012 uh, season. Spider fans, by November the 3rd, we should know whether or not our team's on the way back to competitiveness in the CAA. I think we're going to be on the way back, and I think we're going to get a big win over the Rams. This time, the annual homecoming celebration features the Rhode Island Rams at the Brick House at 6 o'clock on Saturday night. Now, Spider fans, uh, old Satchmo uh, really enjoyed uh, the break. Helped me get rid of some old aches and pains that come along with a long season, but I hope I didn't uh, lose any of my momentum because we got a heck of a stretch drive coming up. And I hope I'm ready for it. Now, being an old timer, I also heard Coach Rocco say that championships are won in November with defense. Now, on paper, it looks like Rhode Island is a perfect homecoming opponent. They're winless overall, they're winless in the CAA. The team has come too far to take a stumble at this point. I think most of us are thrilled at where this team is at this time. If you're going to be on campus this weekend at the Brick House, I hope uh, you'll do all you can to be loud and proud and thank uh, the coaching staff and these players for getting us where most of us had a lot of doubt that we could ever be this season. What a beautiful uh, day for a homecoming here at the University of Richmond. Look at that. Somebody's bringing a golf cart. But you know what? I just may leave the apples Look at in that here. beautiful spider that on top beautiful. of that whatever it is. Uh, Are you going to have like, this too, Tom? Yeah, but this like is, apple I have a I took a picture of it too. Oh, yeah. So I don't get, yeah, I'm going to leave them in those conditions. Oh, look at the uh, dessert. Ooh. I don't even know what's under that blue towel. preseason standpoint, you'd have to believe the Blue Hens will be heavy favorites uh, 
in this final home game of the Spiders 2012 season. And I think Spider fans can hope that this game will be the culmination of the Spiders' uh, return to the top half of the CAA standings, or maybe even a playoff bid uh, still on the line. And Spider fans, a win here could mean real big things for the Spiders uh, season. And you know what? If I look back a uh, little ways, every year of our last four playoff appearances, we have beaten the mighty Blue Hens. This week, the once powerful Delaware Blue Hens come to the Brick House to help us celebrate Senior Day and close out our home regular season schedule. Now, Spider fans, I hope you enjoyed last week's victory over Rhode Island, which Coach Rocco described as a complete game. That clinched a winning season for the Spiders, just another entry on a long list of great accomplishments for this team and our coaching staff. Normally at this time of the year, the Blue Hens are looking for a playoff uh, slot or even a bye in the playoffs. Not so much this season. At two and four in the CAA, Coach Keeler acknowledges that this week's game against the Spiders and next week's against Villanova are the last games the Blue Hens will play. That's all for Delaware. Eat some chicken before and after the game. Go Spiders! So long for now. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna. I, I take offense to that, my boy. <laughs> Oh, so you wore the shorts today, huh? Yeah, I did. I had to smoke. Hello, Spider fans everywhere. It's time for the Spider Gang's fourth annual Spider Gang Senior Day shout out. <laughs> Basketball so much. You don't have to tailgate. Right. You don't have to cook. So I know. we go out to eat. We don't go tailgate. Exactly. Put them Their offense is good enough. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Four years ago. And I was like, yeah. 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 Most people looking at this uh, matchup would think that for the Spiders to win in Williamsburg this year, it would be an upset. Spider fans, what I'm hoping for is that by this time, our team will have developed and be playing its best ball of the season. If we can go to Williamsburg playing our best football, we know we can get a win down there. That might get our Spider Mojo back. This week, 122nd meeting, and the oldest rivalry in the South, Richmond plays William and Murray at beautiful Cary Field in Williamsburg in their final regular season game. And look what's happened to us since then. Against Delaware, created five turnovers, four interceptions, and a fumble recovery, and gave up only one offensive touchdown. Combine that with outstanding punting, and I think we're getting a November defense. And you know what, Spider fans? I think we're going to need that uh, defense down in Williamsburg on Saturday. But William and Murray is the Indians. I think it's gonna be a football war at Cary Field Saturday. Coach Rocco threw out the old cliche 
that you can throw at all the record books for this one. And you know what, Spider fans? This game has turned into the biggest regular season game we've had since the same game at the end of the 2008 season. The Spider Game Predictions Contest is on the line Saturday on the reservation. Mr. Electric, the Chief, Mrs. Spirit, and Mrs. Diplomat are the heavy favorites going into the grand finale. Spider fans, it's already been a great season. There's nothing left for us to do except to go to Williamsburg and play the game. You know, there's a country song about a red cup. Just about time for that Spider Gang walk. Yeah, they are. Uh, that, the Kappa Alpha house is over there somewhere. Now, guys, right now, right now. There you have it, Spider fans, through the eyes of the Spider gang. I hope you enjoyed Richmond's remarkable, we were ready for Rocco season. Hats off to the coach, his coaching staff, and the players for earning a CAA football championship from the disappointment of the 2011 season. As we know, unfortunately only one thing was missing our invitation to the FCS playoffs. My guess is the 17 returning starters and Coach Rocco will use this as motivation for the 2013 season. Hold on to your hats, Spider fans. It could be something special. Until then, Satchmo and the Spider Gang saying, Go Spiders! So long for now.